And next to that raging wildfire in California, leaping onto a highway like a scene from a disaster movie. Take a look at this. Drivers trapped on the road at rush hour, many abandoning their cars in panic. And now firefighters saying drones flying in the area delayed their air response by nearly 30 crucial minutes. The question tonight, who was behind those controls? Here's ABC's Matt Gutman. Lightning storm sparking new fires here in California tonight. Thousands unable to go home. The same storms dousing the so-called North Fire, which shot through the highway linking Los Angeles and Las Vegas, causing hundreds to run for their lives. I do have approximately two to three structures involved. Uh, reports of people trapped. At 2.50 p.m., officials getting the first call during Friday rush hour. Traffic paralyzed on the highway, the fire advancing. Within 10 minutes, jets and choppers scramble to the skies. But they aren't alone. Multiple drones making it dangerous for them to fly and stalling the air attack for a precious 25 minutes. Even these semis lighting up like matches. But by around 3.20, this DC-10 dumping a long red line of retardant. Some make it through. Oh my God. I can feel the heat. Others don't. They said run, so we ran. Grabbed what we could and ran. Twice about it. It's an apocalyptic scene. Motorists fleeing on foot. I just grabbed my kids and just uh, ran up the hill. Everyone was screaming. The fire jumps the highway, galloping up the hill. Our camera's right there as the firefighters battle the flames. Homes engulfed and horses in peril. We're just helping to round up the horses. We're just neighbors from down the road. As the sun set, the nearby pine fire blowing up. Hundreds of campers, including these Girl Scouts, evacuated. Tonight, Cal Fire also focused on investigating those drone pilots. What effect do drones actually have on your planes and helicopters? It has a big effect because our aircraft have come down very low to fight this fire. And when there's a drone in the area, it could cause damage to our aircraft, if not, uh, bring it down. Authorities are telling us they want to find those drone operators and hold them liable for property damage. Now, it's been raining here most of the day. Still, there are hot spots like this that persist across this moonscape, and firefighters continue to try to battle them.